Well, hello, me pirates, and welcome back to Atlas. Today, we're finally going to be experimenting with our schooner. We've got a mission. We've sent out an expedition to go pick up metal, and we need to go pick them up. They are in E11. We're at B11 right now. So we've got a, a couple uh, servers to cross to be able to get there. Oh, my God. Game, no, stop clicking things. I'm in K mode. No wonder. Everything's a disaster. So we got me and Diaz Kincaid here. And we're going to pick up, I think, two or three other people down at E11. It's going to be a bit of an adventure. I hope you all enjoy it. I'm going to pop into Discord here, and it's going to be a different type of episode. We are playing on official PvP, and the wind is not at our backs. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it's not going to be too much of a disaster. But let's get some planning done, and then we're going to head out. Every time I go sailing, there's a damn maelstrom. Every single time. Oh, nice. We got another level. Yes. All right. Uh, are we uh, wait or um? So we can carry four now. So let's go with wait because we are gonna need to carry what like a thousand plus metal back. Yeah, we've got a total weight of two thousand four hundred and now sixty extra as well. So it only up goes up to sixty. Nice. Oh, okay. oh my god, we need to get through this damn maelstrom. <laughs> I'm gonna end up dying here. I'm trying to turn around him, but I know there's an island here somewhere. I just can't see it anymore. Yeah, at the moment it's uh, northeast of you. Northeast? Okay, good. We should be safe. I just can't see anything because there's these big water sprouts everywhere. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're there it is. Northwest now, though. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're actually getting into the wind now, so things are going to be moving pretty quick here. Yeah. I'm going to be passing out here real yeah. short. Yeah, I'm at about half health as well. Do we still fall off this ship if we respawn on the bed? I know we fall off the. Uh, the at the little moment, ones. you should be able to spawn on the be uh, on the beds. I did. Uh, now you gotta stop so people can respawn. Yep. Uh, so uh, Celine's gotta drop the sails or put up the sails. Uh, do it. Must Sales. Yeah, of Muskie and Close sales. Yeah, got fully it. close. Okay. Um, you're headed for a red spot on the map. Someone claimed a little bit area there. Why ever? Oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I found a not so good, nice guy. And yeah, so we're going to go a little bit more north and then just east, pretty much. I can see where, I can see where you guys are on the map now, so... Once you guys respawn, we'll be good to go. Make sure you grab your stuff. And he killed me. Oh, jeez. Okay, I can try to spawn on the cutter. Nope, I can't spawn on the cutter. Yeah, that bed's yeah. got to cool down. We should, probably should have put yeah, another bed on here. And so thankfully, we're already almost there. The, uh, they're at that island right there, but we're waiting for the maelstrom to end because it's just a disaster, and I'm about to die and respawn on our bed. <laughs> the seas are rife with disasters. At least it's not a kraken. I'll deal with the maelstrom over a kraken, um, but we got to pick them up like right about here. With the maelstrom changing directions and stuff, we're going to wait because we don't want to crash into any land. We could probably do it without it, but you know it's better safe than dead, they say. We'll spawn up the cutter. We'll be good to go. Unfortunately, it's still freezing. We need some like fur clothing or something like that. We need to take a jaunt down to the to the snow biome, I think. Uh, but regardless, once we get this metal, we should be able to finish our schooner, which is like our 14-person boat. And that's going to be really nice, especially with all the metal. We can make all the cannon ports and everything. It's super exciting. Thankfully, that maelstrom's over. Now, is there anybody on these shores that are going to be super duper like murderous? Uh, there's one level 13 who killed me while well, I just was standing on a... Okay. Wharf. So, so maybe what why. we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll spawn a little far... Or we'll stop a little farther offshores and then we'll just swim back and forth. Yeah, it should be better because of the uh, respawn block. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Um, you see the... I guess it's a cliff a little bit right of the ship. 
That um, one has some metal at its bottom. Okay, so it's the Let me right. so there's like this big right. monolith to the very far right, and then there's that little no, uh, the the one a little bit farther to the left. Yep. Okay, that's where I'm headed. That's the, the uh, smaller one. Yeah, it's like a mesa or and something. On like the that. Uh, it's on the um, left side of it where I found the metal. Okay, all right, we just got to get our sails turned in the proper direction, and we'll be good yeah, to go. Yeah, it's hard with it going directly behind us like that. I can't get Yeah, so we need to be at um, negative 60, I believe, on both sides. That should be proper. It doesn't help that the wind's changing directions at the moment right now, too. Yeah, the maelstrom is almost gone, but it's still screwing with it. Yeah, so I can, if you leave it both at negative 75, I can catch the wind, and we should be good. Okay. I think I just need to turn this way to catch the wind. No, other way. Yes, that way. We're going to have to do a little some fancy maneuvering to get there, but we'll be there shortly. We got the yeah. wind now. Aye, aye, Captain. We got this! <laughs> and I'm already starving again. <laughs> oh, God. Because of the freezing. That's a pain. So we're going to have to... Turn here just a little bit. Hopefully, I can cut it just enough to where we still catch the wind afterwards. Come on, baby. I can probably move them over the other side there. Well, it's actually, a seems nice. To be mostly claimed. A few green spots still on there. What's that? Um, only that one person that I saw. Whole bunch of uh, vegetables, carrots, uh, peppers. Oh, that's all on that island. Metal. <laughs> that's actually a pretty good island. Yeah, looks really good. It had wood fiber is a little bit scarce, but it's there. Didn't see any okay. bees or any of that, right? Um, you on. see the, the little um, uh, fair blue uh, nudge that's uh, coming uh, into sight on the map? The little uh, light blue thingy that's uh, pointing out? Uh, we got to go to negative 65 now, and we sh that should yeah, bring that. us right into the island. Right. Maybe a little bit more. 75, yeah. Coming on in. Alright, get down to 50. The front one still needs to be turned. I'm about to pass out again. Yeah, me too. Alright, I'll turn the front one. And yeah, there I go. Close sails. I think we're close. Yeah, we're getting close. Um, we're getting, trying to get a little bit closer. I'm going to turn the boat. I think Thalian is not actually working the front one, the front sail. No, it was... Uh... I don't know. All right. Do you think that's too far? That's too far to swim out still, I think. All right, so we just got to... Swim to shore now? You lead the way, I guess. Yeah, just disposing of my body. Oh, uh, yeah. Then hop into the water. Bring your picks. <clears throat> so you guys the ones that had the a whole bunch of metal already? Or are we just gathering stuff? Uh, no, we, we have to gather. Okay. We found the metal and... Uh, and our raft exploded, and then we were stuck. And ah, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Is it just all right on the beach here? Leave this island. Ye has been warned. <laughs> yep. They don't even know how to pirate right. Try it's home chain. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, here we've um. Salt. Or slate. It's not crystal. No, it's uh. What was it? Oh yeah, there's all that crystal along the walls there. Lots. That's cool. What is this? 
Iron. Um, but it's this not here should be metal where I'm standing. Ah, nice. Okay. We need to make some storage boxes while we're here. So if somebody wants to make that, we, I think we only need one. Yeah, I'm going to try to gather some stuff because I don't have any picks because I didn't. I'm like, ah! Oh. Alpha horse, why? Oh, why? no. <laughs> of course, the, the alpha horse. Metal. There's two of them! Oh There's my god. Two alpha oh god, they pinned me. Oh, that's not. Alpha horses are the worst. And up here is the next metal. I gotta, I'm gonna swim back because I'm already waited. Little expedition here is going quite well. This island is pretty amazing. I'd wish we kind of came to this one first and settled here. Uh, but honestly, with the, the sloop we got, it's really only gonna take us maybe. Five minutes now that we know exactly where we need to go and especially if the wind is in our favor we'll be able to farm up metal really quickly and that's all that's holding us back right now other than fiber uh, which is just seems to always be an issue we really need to tame a bear because that's the best thing that to get fiber right now so if we have a bear and now that we know where metal is we're gonna be pretty much good to go um, but I hope you guys are all enjoying this series. It is on official PvP, which means it's a little bit slower paced. The episodes, I can't do as much per episode as I would be able to do on single player. Or not on single player, but on a private server. But that being said, G Portal is going to be working with us on creating a massive private server. We're going to be linking a ton of different servers together and creating a network of hopefully about a thousand players, maybe even more. And I'll be opening it up to the community. Patrons, members, and sponsors will be able to join in the actual um, company itself. And we'll have certain servers as PvP, certain ones as PvE, all linked together. So that way you'll be able to enter like hot and cold zones. So some of these areas within the map will be PvP, some will be PvE. And I think it's going to be really fun. And then down the road we'll be able to add mods. And I'm really excited for the future of Atlas. Now that the servers have been stabilized, it's so much more better. Like, I loved Ark, and if you were a fan of Ark, then you're going to enjoy this game, especially if you enjoy being pirates. Now, official servers are always just, you know, it's a grind on official servers. So I think the private server series is probably going to be fun, but we are going to continue this as long as possible, basically until we get wiped out. Once we get wiped out, then the series will probably end. But if we end up becoming like an ultimate alpha tribe on here, then uh, this series could go on for a very long time. Got this. Another oh, damn maelstrom. <laughs> Unfurl the sails. Set a course for home. And through the mail, directly through the maelstrom we oh, go. God. Hopefully that ship uh, isn't like I right in front of us still. Before we head out. We have the material to repair it if we need to. Oh, I forgot the maelstrom actually changes the direction of the wind while you're in it. Suck up. All right, we got this. Dog, what are you doing? Oh, God. That is not an appropriate place for dog face. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Hey, it disappeared just in time. Perfect. I still took damage. Oh, God, man. Oh, me too. Stupid alpha right. wolf. Oh god! Running! Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> that's the point of running, to get it away from the base. Now we're gonna kill it. It's gonna take like no, five that, hours. She's got a different one. That's the 188 you guys are fighting. She just got hit by a 240 something. Oh, Jesus. Yep. So whose raft is this, Thorn OTD? I don't know. Uh, it was here when I logged on earlier, but I haven't seen anybody. Oh god. Oh, jeez. This thing can fly. Oh. It's the mythical alpha wolf of destiny. Kill it, kill it with fire. It seems we still have um a wolf stuck. Stupid dog from hell. I think we need like. <laughs> Can anybody craft like a super weapon to oh, smash nice. this dog in the face? I'm out of I'm out of arrows. Just keep punching it long enough. We'll we'll kill it. It we're, regains we're level. Health, no, it's been. No, yeah, it's good. it's at health health. It was at half health like a minute ago, and now it's three just, quarters of the way to full. We just we just need to keep punching it. Trap it. We should trap it. I wonder if it is tameable. No, it's, it's not tameable. It hit but... you. I don't think it can hit you if you're on a raft. Yeah, but they, you can they, hit they the raft. They do glitch out sometimes. And he hits you through the planks of the raft. Yeah, this is some random guys. Oh, he hit me. Stupid wolf. It's a nice little glitch. 
him slapping the wolf through the wall. <laughs> it's crazy how much XP you get from this thing. We should just keep it alive and just farm it like this. We had, yeah. uh, last night, it was just me, Monkey, and Dusty, and we had pinned a wolf inside one of the little crevices where people just... get stuck at. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Bork, Bork. Be nice if we just KO'd it. <laughs> Immune to torpor. I watched a uh, alpha sheep fight an alpha snake, and <laughs> they just kept going at. It. Did it win? Uh, no, the sheep lost. Oh, <laughs> but it that was been awesome if it won. <laughs> it was hilarious. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Why are you not filming this? Oh, I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> The door we have to be careful with, so bring it back over here. Yeah, the epic battle of destiny. Against the level 246 alpha Bork Bork. Don't, oh, don't let it get near the sheep. Or I can't, I don't think it could hit us through the wall. I can't, I'm level 20 now from that. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's getting five levels. This is I'm crazy. The sheep away, though. <laughs> We've got this. So should so, I be using this to catch her? <laughs> so if if your body oh, cool. happens to go past Ashley, Diaz is going to hit you with a club, and then I'll catch you with my naked body at the end if worse comes to worse. Oh, oh no! Because I'm naked first. Are you, <laughs> are you ready to spawn? I'm going to caress the bobs as I go by. There's 22 uh -huh. seconds. Just screaming. Oh, my 22 seconds. All right, let me know when you're going to spawn because I'm going to record this. I'm, I'm we so got ready this. For this. Oh, this is going to be hilarious. All right, Don't ready? Jump. Yep, we're good. She's dancing. All right. Badoop. <laughs> oh, we did it! Yay! Woo! Yeah! Now get over on the edge. Get in the ocean. No, but why? Why are we dropping She's a buoy. Oh. She's a buoy. It's like a cookie. <laughs> it's a cookie trail, so we know our way back. No, full of snapping look. turtles. No! going to get lost without my cookie trail. <laughs> you didn't know you were going to have such an important role, did you? <laughs> Oh. I need to actually craft a sextant. What? What? Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> I want to chart the stars. It's a thing. You had to say that, didn't you, Tag? Did. The sextant. Sextant. It, it's, it's officially a party. We've got two chicks and two dudes on a boat. Let's do this. Woo! Boats and hoes. <laughs> yes, did you hear I don't want to... Do we really want to baby seal that poor raft? Yes. Diaz, do you want to baby seal the raft? I got the club. Let's what go. happens if they have guns and they would just Steel get our ship stolen? Come on! <laughs> but it's going. I guess. Dag, stop being a little whiny bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're. It's up to Diaz. I don't. I. I don't usually. I you guys need to at least turn the sails. We gotta zero out the sails. This poor. They're like, oh no, that's turning. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, nah, they're gonna leave us alone. Nope, we're gonna baby nope. seal them. <laughs> We're going clubbing. She's Diaz, best her own boat. Don't hurt our boat. I know you're <laughs> I excited. I don't think I can. You have one job. Oh. Control the sails right now. <laughs> I'm controlling <laughs> the sails. What's your seal clubbing uh, roar? Battle cry. My seal clubbing battle cry? Yeah. Okay. Scream Nani. Dwarf smash! <laughs> Just be like, yes! Nani! <laughs> Nani! <laughs> So we got three naked people and a dude with a club just coming in hot. <laughs> I swear to God, if they have guns and we all die, I'm going to disown all of you. <laughs> this was an expeditionary mission, not a baby seal clubbing. Ashley, you could just come up here. <laughs> I'm like holding my little pick ass. It's like a little, this little raft is going to have like three cannons. Pick ass? <laughs> I thought it was a pick axe. Fight me. Somebody close the sails. No, you guys gotta turn stop. the sails. Why did the boat stop? Where do you want? Why did the boat stop? The server's think... crashing. There are it's dolphins crashing. trying to like <laughs> pump their way out of the water. <laughs> These guys are lucky. Either we're getting crackened or the server died. I think the server died. This well, we is ridiculous. In the right direction, we're going Somebody... uh, southwest. Somebody else is gonna have to steer until I can stop pooping myself. <laughs> I'm in the same boat you are right now. I'm well, right we're now. literally in the same boat. <laughs> yeah, <let's> 
I hope you're in the same boat. <laughs> I'm just going to lay down and die of scurvy quietly. <laughs> I'll be back. Quietly while you poop yourself to death? I'm going to poop quietly into the night. No, I'm making the human centipede with Diaz. It's cause... already oh, it's already God. negative 75. Thank you, turtle. <laughs> I did nothing, though. It was already like that. Am I dead yet? <laughs> I have 20 hit points left. <laughs> it takes a long time to die. Scurvy sucks. It's literally a human centipede. <laughs> Somebody's got to eat the poop behind me, though, because that's just a waste of poop. <laughs> One, two, three, not it. <laughs> So we ended up switching out on that expedition, and uh, people spawned on the boat so that they could take care of it themselves. We got the majority of it done, and I've heard that treasure has been fixed on the map. And I do believe I see some treasure right there. Well, not treasure, but it's a treasure map. Um, I've been told around this little sandbar that we have claimed that we can find uh, treasure maps. That means we can get gold. And hire crew members, which could make life significantly easier. It'd be really nice if we could hire NPCs to, like, farm stuff for us. That would make life a thousand times better. Um, but I'm going to check this out see what kind of treasure maps we get. Oh, yeah. My first treasure map. I hope it's a good one. And I hope it's not terribly far away. Obviously, the farther away it is, the more money it's going to be worth. And it'll divvy it out amongst every one of your crew members, too. So collect treasure map. That's a huge bottle. For a treasure map so we got a common treasure map so this is going to net us uh treasure contains at least 142 gold guides you to hidden treasure when placed in your item slots uh which you can use to shovel and dig or in region b12 oh that's really close that's cool so now that we're in can, what happens if i i do this okay the treasure map is magnified and rotated uh, section of the atlas the treasure chest will be buried somewhere within the indicated region to find the treasure go to the location within the map search for a visual indicator and use a shovel to dig up treasure chests in the center of the marker so this is in b12 which isn't terribly far from us because we're in region b11 so that means we need to go south well shit i was gonna go get metal but there's a ship of the damned guarding the waters on the way to get the metal so that might not be a, a thing i get to do uh, so they've shipped, they've fixed both the ships of the damned and the treasure, but they've overspawned both of them. So there's way too many ships of the damned and way too many treasure maps. So I can't really leave this island by myself, which is a bit of a disaster. So I'm trying to see if I can get more people on right now. And so once again, things are just absolutely insane when it comes to playing on official server. I do want to go hunt down some of these treasure maps, but I had to wait for more people because the ships of the damned. But we are working on finishing the schooner. So uh, me and Dusty P just got a whole bunch of stuff crafted up. And we're going to put it on. So we've got two gun ports. We've got four. So I want to put them in the center of the ship. Oh, we almost jumped off. So we'll, let's see here. we got six planks and four gun ports. We're going to put two on each side because they're super expensive to make. We still need about like 14,000 um, fiber and wood and all that stuff. But I want to get the front of the ship made. So that way I can kind of figure out exactly where center is going to be. So we've got um, the two sides done. So that's going to give us, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five. So we could put a gun port here and a gun port here. Oh, and I fell off. What a derp. So as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. A gun port here. And a gun port here. There we go. So we're getting pretty close, and then we're going to cover this side like that. I really like the ship building. Obviously, it's an insane amount of resources to actually build one of these ships. But it's a really cool process. And I'm, I'm actually quite excited about it. I... I thoroughly enjoy it, other than obviously the epic grind it takes to get all of this stuff. Besides that, it's a really cool shipbuilding process. We got one more. I think we'll just go ahead and place that bad boy uh, right there. And I believe we just need to do like the main hole down below. Yeah, so we got to get all of that down below. Then we need to get the deck on and the sails. I know Dusty's working on building the sails right now. So we're hoping to have our schooner built tonight. And then we're going to go out and get gold which could very well give us a whole crew for our ship. 
So for those of you that don't know, lots of things have transpired while doing this. We are now alliance with this entire island, and uh, we actually have to go back and forth to each of these islands, to the North Island, to get both metal and fiber. It's a kind of time-consuming process. So we had the brilliant idea of making climbing picks and a glider suit. Now the gliders, if you're familiar with Ark, are pretty damn cool. And we've got this handy dandy mountain right here. And I'm thinking I might be able to glider my ass all the way to the North Island and then theoretically even back from the North Island, thus cutting my travel time down significantly, which will be very nice. And the climbing pick should allow me to do a couple trips I'm out of freaking stamina. Son of a beached whale. Uh, but you can see we're pretty high up. I don't think I can regenerate stamina while up here. So we just need to force ourselves to the top. Because I use up quite a few nutrients and water and stuff just swimming back and forth or climbing back and forth or whatever the hell it ends up being. There we go. So we need to go directly that way. And we've got this magnificent glider here. And we just need to put it on. Now, I don't exactly know how to use it yet. I'm familiar with how to use it in Ark, so what happens if I... Okay, so it's the same thing. So we need to jump and then hit space. So let's see how this works. We're gonna... Oh, maybe we should jump off from a point that's actually good. Right here. Oh yeah. We got this. I am going all the way to the North Island, baby. We just need a little bit of speed. Oh, this is actually going to work. This is so much better than even boating across. Oh my goodness. This is going to get me exactly where I need to be in a very quick amount of time. God, now that they're, they're doing so much to this game and it's getting so much better. They've non-stopped provided updates since the game released and it's getting really, really good. Even playing on official is fun. And I don't say that very often because official is more often than not, not fun at all. But having this glider is amazing, and wham bam, thank you ma'am, we have made it to the fiber territory. That was so awesome! I'm so excited. Oh baby, is the schooner finally coming to fruition? This is amazing. We need four more planks, well five, but I've already crafted up one. We've got all of our cannons placed already. This is looking good. We've only got four cannons. Um, I'm hoping that maybe we can change these pieces out. Uh, so let's see here. We might, oh yes, we can change these out if we so desire at some point to add more cannonry, which might not be a bad idea because I would like to have maybe a total of eight cannons, which would be pretty nice to start off with. Um, now we're just working on building the deck. We've already got the sails made, so we're actually going to be taking this on its maiden voyage, voyage tonight, which is pretty exciting. Sweet baby beluga whale, this has been one hell of a process. We've got the boat almost fully complete. We're just working on building the last few pieces. We've got the everything done. We're just working on making the captain's area. We've obviously got the steering wheel up here. And now I'm just working on building the railings. And I'm actually kind of pissed right now because the, the railings cost an entire wall to make. It's so stupid. Um, but it is what it is. And we're stuck with it right now. So I'm trying to just get this all railinged out. And it's super expensive to do. But I think we might have enough to get it done. Uh, Dusty is gr working on grabbing the lieutenant's podium so we can have that back here. And all in all, this has been one hell of a process, but it's been worthwhile. We finally got our schooner. I'm dehydrated. I'm dying. But we're going to be back when we launch it. Does this all thing right. have lights? We need lights on it. We do need lights on it. Yeah. Let's shoot fire arrows up in the air to celebrate. Dragon, you gotta get on, Oh man. my god, you burned burn the ship. <laughs> it's releasing. We release it and it gets burnt down right away. That'd be so sad. <laughs> Everyone ready? I was just checking <laughs> to make sure it was deep enough underneath. What can we say? We party hard. Everyone ready? Oh yeah. I am ready. Yep. Ready. Alright. Three. Here we go. Two. One. Oh. Bam! <laughs> we did oh, it. That yeah. was cool. That's awesome. All right, now we just need some yeah. open sails. So close to being back. To man the sails? Oh, I can actually name the ship now, officially. Yay! Let's see here. Uh, not demolish. No. <laughs> Where's the name button? The Black Plague. 
It doesn't give me an option to name it. Maybe if I uh, yeah, you go to uh, ship options and then uh, uh, change change name of the ship. Yep. Options ship. Yeah, change name. There we go. Will it fit? SS Terminal Lumbago. Such a grand name. Beautiful. All right. Let's get some sails open. Get this baby out of the port. Who's man in the sails? Oh, like, yeah. Like I opened them up already. <laughs> oh. <laughs> One man wrecking crew. Oh, this is, this is so cool. <clears throat> Alright, that's far enough. I don't want to get destroyed by... Fog bank. <laughs> Just ruining it. So it's still only got two sails, yeah? Yeah. We've got... Yeah. A, so the front sail is uh, one of the maneuvering ones, so we can sail into the wind a little bit easier. Nice. So it's no harder to do than the um, than the sloop, except for like fighting and stuff, right? Yeah. So this is just a, you, basically a you combat guys see version me? of it. You guys see me off your port? No, it's super foggy. 150 yards. I can barely see you, but you should be able to yeah. see me if I can see yes. you. We see your roster. Oh, what, what, what do you got? Where are you? Oh, oh, there you are. Seems like is this special port for... stuff that you can only get at the port? <laughs> oh, officer's coat? Where'd you get that? Purple or red at the port, 15 gold. Oh, wow. Thank you, bum. Purple or red, or blank, just regular. Uh, red. I want to see this. Oh, yeah. Whoops. No. no, that's um, correct, bum ruler. Thank you very much. Ooh. Oh, nice. What do you guys think? Am I beautiful with my eye patch that's not loaded on my face? Yeah, I was going to say, where's the eye patch? Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> well, you look almost like a Kurt Russell. <laughs> so, <laughs> a younger Kurt Russell. <laughs> that's not bad. There's white pants and white gloves that go with it, and the boots that. Oh, I'll give you these boots. Hold on. I like this. Oh. You're a scholar and a gentleman. I feel like I just got in. I feel like I just got into jail. So give me your boots. Give me. <laughs> <laughs> give me all your clothes. Jack my furniture. <laughs> there we go. That, that that matches a little bit better. Oh yeah, big pimpin' now with my frilly neck bits. Okay, so what happened was I think I bound the eye patch to that hat because I was wearing that hat when oh. I put it on. I wonder if I did um, this. So, once I can get another eye patch, uh, I have a blue one here, but I'm trying to get another one to go on me, but it's not working. I might I, need to log and I, come back. I tried to drag it off, and it didn't drag off. It dragged off, but then disappeared. This would be an absolute miracle. Oh, it's not equipped. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can't have a miracle if the thing isn't equipped. I'm trying to get back onto the ship, and we got some decorations and stuff for it. Or not decorations, but uh, things to put on it, like a smithy and storage. Oh, oh god, oh god, too far. <laughs> I love that glider. It just makes life so much easier, like just traversing anything, really. And especially if we can use it, like if you could climb up to the top of the um, some of these watchtowers and get to islands that way, it's going to be super nice. But I do have a ladder right here. Um, it's a little weird getting back on the ship, but you can do it. You're going to have to reposition this at some point. There we go. It's a little bit of a pain to get on right now because the ship didn't actually come with a ladder. And then we got to walk across. Kind of crazy. But but um, Thorn brought us this awesome officer's coat and this eye patch. We got it painted with my traditional arc colors. So tomorrow we're going to actually be going on expeditions. We're going to be getting, um, uh, obviously, treasure. And if you don't know, right now until January 2nd, you can get this top hat, which will increase your the gold yield by like 50% or something like that. So you'll make a lot more gold and you get those at a free port. So if you're looking to make a lot of money, definitely make sure to get that real quick and take advantage of it while you can, especially with how easy it is to get treasure maps right now with the increase. Um, but I do want to place the smithy in here. I don't know if I want to make it up top. I want to put it here so that's going to be obstructed i think what i want to do is i want to make it down here because if we do it down here we'll be able to quickly bring the cannonball so i'm going to make it right at the bottom here 
So that'll be nice. Then we need storage down here as well. I think this game just crashed. The game did not crash. It was just me. And then we're going to put storage down here. So this one storage box can be used specifically for the smithy. If we put it like right on an angle here, I think that'll look nice. So there we go. Perfect. Oh man, the shipbuilding is so awesome for this. Now I do have cannonballs too. So uh, select ammo type. We're going to use select ammo type. Equip uh, medium cannonball. There we go. Now, how do I fill it up? I haven't tried to load one of these bad boys yet. Right back. And then, how do we reload? Do I have to put it, like, in my inventory, maybe? I'm just curious on how all this works now. And I kind of want to shoot one off, so... I can't put it onto my hotbar. So I think what we need is an actual ammo box. So... Station group options, change warning from no warning, targeting only. We can also rename the cannon. Interesting. That is so cool. I don't, yeah, I don't see any reload options. But if you guys haven't messed with this yet, you can open the, these up and it'll move forward. So we can mount the cannon. There we go. Now, how do we reload the cannon? Ah, there we go. So once it's mounted, you can hit reload. Oh, yeah. Now we can shoot these cannonballs out. That is so cool. I think what I'm doing, now that it's reloaded, and we're going to go ahead and close this up, but I'm going to load up all of our cannons just so it's nice and safe, but we can't load them until you've mounted onto them. But at least now that way, they've got cannons in them. It takes a hot second to load these in, too. Oh, I cannot wait to go on some raiding sprees. This is going to be so much fun. But I hope you guys all enjoyed the episode. This took a long time to record, uh, but hopefully we're getting a lot of progress now. So these episodes should be able to come out a lot quicker. We are playing on official servers, so just keep that in mind. That's why these episodes take so long to come out. But thank you so much for the support. I hope you guys all enjoyed the episode. And if you're looking for a company on the official PvP server, this is a Patreon sponsor and members uh, company. So if you're a patron member or sponsor and you're looking for a company, make sure to let us know and join. And we are teamed up with a bunch of other YouTubers as well. We've got like 130 members so far. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. But I'll see you all in the next one.